And to game number two of the night, this one is going to be against Damon College. They're also 1-0, and oh, as I mentioned before that little break here. And I'm not sure what you guys can see. There we go. I was about to say, wondering, I wanted to make sure we were at least on the same page visually. And now we are. Snoo versus Damon College up in Amherst, New York. Snoo just pushed their record up to three and nothing. Damon hoping to uh, put that first little scar on the, the strong record that Snoo have been able to grow so far. Uh, I'd love to see some... A continuation of the play we saw earlier. Snoo had only one round that they faltered in that first game that we had earlier against Staten Island. Most of the time, their defense seemed very solid. They had a good read on the setups. But when CSI really had their passes kind of on fire between them, when, when they had that, that gameplay set up as it was, it was a lot harder for Snoo to, to, to get it. They had someone in goal, but no one really consistently knocking the ball away and just giving them a chance to breathe. It was constant pressure that Snoo were under in that one round. Otherwise, it was a constant neutral game that Snoo seemed to be winning more, more than not. So depending on the kind of team that Damon College is, we could see a very close game here. If, if Damon have those setups, if they have those passes, those juggles, the things that made Snoo falter in game number one of the night four, of course, just to clarify, the only round they lost in the best of five series could have a chance, but first member of Damon has joined the game. Hopefully we will be getting started sooner rather than later. Quantic 63. I'll have to keep note of that one. They're back in the brain. Uh, same field. I actually didn't know. It seems like that we run the same field every single time. I was clicking through the, the RC, RLCS a little bit to do some research before we hopped in. And I saw a kind of a variety of maps. I guess we have it. Locked this way in the ECC tournament here. We are going to start a little bit early, as some of you may have noticed. We called nine earlier, but Damon and Snee were both ready, so we're going to be kicking off hopefully soon. Damon did have their last leave, so maybe taking a breather here. But we had the Snoo boys were practicing. They were staying warm. They are in a 2v2 with, with their coach. They even have their sub waiting in the channel just in case anything goes wrong, so... Certainly already, no matter what will happen here. And we have the names flipped here properly up top as well. For this, four minutes to this actual start time. So maybe we'll see what Damon do. But it looks like they have now all hopped in. They were getting into a party. It looks like Bacon Destro, Aquatic, Meta Robo Bun. Going to be the members we see here. I'm actually not sure which one of them is the coach and which one isn't. But We'll be getting into the game, hopefully, here. Snoo have picked their side, waiting to choose the last player on the side of Damon College. It looks like they have Corey. That's what I'm going to call them this game. Ready to go three seconds in, and it is, as we can see up top, best of five series. We'll start with the kickoff here. Why true? No real winner here. It gets knocked up, and Meta tries to follow, but unable to for right now. Corey, though, with some great boost, going across the field for now. Blue corner has it. Mario clears it away, but knocked straight back in. By Damon, why do the manages control? Mario had a great knock around there to keep him locked down. Kind of grounded right now. Are the members of Damon just not ready? Why true? With the assist to Badger, who juggles it right in. Three members grounded, just waiting for that ball to come in. You can see the panic. No one's even really turning for it. Meta, only the only one who really realizes is Corey's flips just a little bit behind it. First goal in 26 seconds. So says the timer. Forced new another kickoff here, though. These are always going to be important. Why Drew sends it right to the goal. Are we going to see an immediate one? Mario doesn't get the angle just right. They keep it in the orange corner, though, with a demo coming for them. This 2v3 situation could be the power play that they need. They don't have the save there. Meta does actually manage to get a little bit of twist on the low ground. Badger maybe bouncing it in. It's getting so close, but it's saved by Corey's flying straight across the goal. Stu, I think we're expecting it to go in, so no one was really ready for that follow-up. Mario... Missing that aerial, but Badger now with the next setup for them. Why true? Maybe there, but a demo will deny the setup he had. Mario here with pretty big boost could make it happen. Trying to juggle it past them or at least set it up for Why true, but cleared out by Meta. As they play that midfield here. Damon College hoping to get it across. I believe they are the Wildcats. I'm assuming that's what the DCWC is. Not just in High School Musical here, being repped by the college as well. Badger. Clears it away from their goal, though. Let's see if they can get a set up at Aquatic. Perfectly positioned, actually, to catch it on the way back. But the midair is not necessarily there. Lands on his top. Won't be able to recover right away. Meta can't follow that up as well. And Mario potentially hits the ground running with this Aquatic. Knew that was going to happen. He broke it back to the goal, but a clear bounce off the wall. Perfect play there between Mario and Y-True, the one who sent it in. 
two nothing for snoo this is looking like a, a much better game for them so far much more aggressive than what we saw in game number one of set number one but every kickoff as we said is going to matter we'll see how damon can make it happen here who makes it to the ball first it's them both but looks like slightly in favor of damon but it, the follow-up is going to be what matters there by snooze we even get a demo here so another setup potentially why true though doesn't want to commit to that with the position that they have and the aerial is also not really there from damon they don't get the knock up on the ball they don't keep it in their control badger and mario pass it between them get an angle to the goal but Corey's it's in a good spot to knock that up even if he didn't send it really far away why true though is right there to stop the ball every single time that it doesn't even get in the air to stop it two minutes in already three points up for snoo very a screaming start for them here. Love the shot by Badger. A little bit of a twist and no verticality from Meta. I don't think they had any boost really to stop it. Time. We'll see. Kickoffs have all been neutral so far. We'll see if one team can get an advantage. It looks like it will still be in the middle, but juggle up by Mario could follow up there. Corey's does go up just to save it for now, but every member of Snoo holding on the same side, maybe going for a setup here. Badger doesn't connect on the follow-up, but Wide True clears it towards the goal. Mario wants the juggle, knocks it down, slally oops it right under that crossbar. No one's really ready for it. Four points now for Snoo up here. Let's watch this little tap. This one's going to go on the on the Twitter to announce the next game, I'm pretty sure, at this point. 4-0 for them, 249 still remaining on the clock. Damon, not out of their hands completely just yet, but We'll see what can happen. Another neutral kickoff. Both teams not really able to win that there. Wide true not keeping it in control for them as Aquatic gets it close to the goal. The first pressure Snoo have really felt offensively so far in this half. Meta waiting for that follow-up on the ball, but no one is there for the follow-up at all. Meta knocks it in. Mario tries to knock it into the crossbar, but the defense isn't there, and that seems to be a common theme here for Damon. They just don't have the players to, to, to save their goal. Look at this aquatic there under, but not as fast as true. He knocks true away, but too late to stop him from going for that goal. Five, nothing in two and a half minutes. At this pace, we're going to see a 10 and oh, if Snoo can keep it up here and they want to kick off here. Badger in a much better position to follow up. But Corey's is right there to chase it down. How is the defense going to look for Damon? Looks like a little bit better than before. Meta knocks it away. Badger looking for a little bit of a juggle, but Meta knocks it towards the goal again. Why true is there? Send it up for that follow-up from Badger, who does miss that. Corey's tips it over, but knocks it right into their hands. Actually, whoa, no one gets that aerial follow-up, but they don't have the setup in time. No one was ready for it. Aquatic was just kind of sitting next to the goal, watching it happen, and Mario's going to run away with it. Aquatic tries to play defense, does send it back, but everyone in a, in a pile-up over there. That would have been some rubbernecking if that was happening in real life. See if they can stop that one from going across. Badger does kill the momentum and slow things down for Aquatic. Gives them more time to get back on their side of the field. You can already see why true in the goals. A setup there doesn't need to be Badger. Clears that one plane away. Corey's doesn't get the aerial chase there. Why true might be the one who does it. Tips it back over and scores again. Six to nothing for SNHU in the first round of this map so far. Damon just it does not seem like they can keep up with what's new have been able to do so far, but. Anything can change, of course. I, I just had to do a double take because I just looked at Y-True's avatar for the first time and I was shocked that Sionic got the rights to Donald Duck to make that avatar. Then I realized it was just his Steam avatar, so don't mind me. Ball in the orange corner. Badger actually might just be clearing this for a goal right away, but Corey's is there in the defense. They have two players playing goal this time. It seems like that's what Damon have to do to keep themselves up here. Aquatic knocking this ball up, actually. Decent follow from him. Keeping it in, but kind of just setting themselves up. Mario, they knocks it a little high, but Wide True knocks it in. Mario was there for the for that little tip if it had to happen, but his he will get the assist on the top anyway. Seven to nothing now for Snoo. Damon really are are just not the defensive play compared to what we saw earlier from CSI. Really is just not there. That way, I think is the biggest difference for them. Damon are getting it on the other side of the field, but the setups aren't where they want them to be. Neutral ball actually in favor of Damon here, but they don't jump for that follow-up. So maybe a runaway here from Snoo. They do clear it out for now. Wytru sends it back. Corey's pushes it back towards the blue goal. Is anyone there for the setup? It looks like it might be aquatic, but he misses that aerial here. It's now going back over in Snoo's hands. You can tell by that little blue trail. Wytru just tips it for maybe a setup here. Badger wants to do a great angle right on the side of Sharp. Shot there, a cute little angle that they take. To send it around the defenders here. Looks like Corey's waiting on the low ground. Wants to jump for it, but just not fast enough. Their timing on, on these defensive dives for the ball is not really there. Damon. I, at this point... Now, I don't know if I can if I can officially write it off, but 
when you see things like that happen, uh, it's looking really hard for Damon to recover from this. 45 seconds, you need to score one goal every five seconds to win at this point. Snoo have looked completely in control of the ball so far. And I don't know if, from what I'm seeing, if that's going to change, at least in this round. They might need that halftime to kind of recover that mental badger. Tips it over. Corey's wants to go back for the defense. Aquatic gets it instead, but it does stay firmly in the orange corner. Aquatic misses that follow-up too. Mar uh, Badger tips it towards the goal, but it's just towards Mario as he wins that challenge in midair as well. Also getting that aerial follow-up. Great, great movement by him. Do they have this set up a little bit too fast for Badger, but it is by the goal and they can play off of that fairly effectively. Fast play by Aquatic wanting to follow the ball. Doesn't get that second here, but potential setup for Corey's doesn't hit it though. Off the goal post, bouncing right back across. Why true? Pinch it with the follow. Sees Badger wants to get the setup. Maybe doesn't even need it. It bounces off of Badger instead. They send it back. Why true with the catch. Five seconds remaining, nine points on the board for Snoo with nothing in response for Damon. Ball's going to get killed immediately anyway, and a dominant first round uh, for Snoo here. I was saying that, you know, maybe if Damon play the, their, their setups aggressively, if they have a style of what CSI had in that one round, we could see something, uh, a game that was as close as before. But watch your breaking a thousand points, six shots, four goals scored by him. Not looking like that's what we're going to see here today, unless DC have a bit of an awakening here. But Snu are, are looking very strong so far in this, and we'll see if anything will change as we roll right in to the first kickoff of the second round in this best of five series. You can see it up top, thanks to the in-game HUD, game two of five here. Kickoff heavily in advantage of Snoo. It looks like Meta will be able to be the first to follow up on it, but Snoo have a chance to set up. Mario makes it there first. They had two people right under it, and Mario still is the first one to make it to that ball. Corey's wants to get the chase. Corey seems to be, uh, I want to say, the strongest player on Damon, just his ability to jump and stop balls from going into the goal has looked stronger than his his teammates here. But Aquatic is able to go up the wall. He's tipping the ball away. He's getting some room for them. Corey's now maybe with a chance to get it back across, but a cut from Badger knocks it back over to the goal. Do they have the setup here? Meta not the angle that he wanted. Own goal from him set up by Badger, of course. And another great start by Snoo. Scoring that first goal, going themselves off to an early lead. I don't know if we expect to see another 9-0, but Damon now down 10 and 0 collectively across all of the rounds here kickoff firmly in favor of snoo mario is even in a great position to follow up on it meta not able to get there fast enough we'll see who's there for the setup it looks like it's why true they don't have the perfect setup there mario wanted to bounce it in from that goal post knock but they need to cross back over who's going to be there for the setup it looks like they might be going for some demos Corey wanted that chase but wasn't able to get it meta tries to cut off mario completely misses that movement as the ball gets sent into an orange corner no one was really Ready for here. Corey's tries to get the chase. Uses some boost, but can't beat Badger to it. Does save it a little bit from wide. True knocks that angle off just enough to deny themselves a chance there. But Mario's heading towards the goal here. Not able to make it though. Aquatic with a solid save. Now going vertical in goal for some, something we really haven't seen that much of from Damon. Badger wants to get a setup. Who's it's going to have to be Mario. He's the only one I don't see here. Doesn't connect on the ball as Corey's wants to take it back across the field, but he doesn't get his little juggle there doesn't kick it down on the ground. Snoo are back on the defense. Aquatic's looking for an aerial knock. Can't find it. Why true? We'll clear that completely out of the goal as Corey gives his team a potential setup, but it's not there. We keep seeing these balls being put into a goal position, a position to score, and there's just no follow-up there. That's the difference between Snoo and Damon. They, Snoo have someone there to score. Why true? He doesn't even need someone else. He'll do it himself. The assist and the goal for him, knocking it right off of that crossbar. I'd love to see a... Some great aerial movement here from them. Just tipping it in right over their heads. We've seen a lot of, a lack of aerial play from Damon in the goal. And abusing that, Snoo are clearly adapting to what they're seeing from Damon as the game goes on. But Damon are playing this a lot better. They win the kickoff this time. It is in the blue corner. Two members of Damon here ready. And someone has to be able to capitalize on the score. But they miss the ball. It could have been free. They don't get it. And now the ball is free for Snoo. A breakaway from them potentially. Why true though? Aquatic denies him the chance to go in and follow it up. Why true? And Mario are going to be here now to get a little bit more. Have someone maybe waiting in the mid. The middle of the field to get something here. Badger doesn't go for it. Knows Meta is there to get that in time as Mario gives them another chance to break it in. Corey's, again, I think he's been the strongest player of Damon so far. He gets it partially out, but saved again by Snoo, who keep it on the enemy side of the field. 
The juggle up here. Badger could be going for another little bit of aerial play. Again, something lacking from Damon, but runs out of boost before he can make anything else come of it. Why? True might slowly roll it in. It's so close. Corey tries to make it happen, but again, no one jumps for the ball. Meta rolls right under it. And Snoo, halfway through the timer, they are up three to nothing. A combined 12 and 0 now between two games. And until Damon scores, I'm going to keep track of that stat because it is pretty interesting. Kickoffs, though, have. We've seen one go in favor of Damon. We'll see what they can do if they want to follow it up. Looks like the way faster rollout here from Badger. He makes it right to the ball. Maybe they can score uh, immediately if they have the setup here. Aquatic wants to go for that. Badger did tap it, so it just ends up getting neutralized momentum-wise. Why true, though? Completely kills his momentum. Turns that around. Mario, fast shot on goal right off of that play. Only a few seconds out from that one. A 21-second goal, counting that five-second timer. Great play by them, just knowing they'd be able to kill that momentum and set themselves up for that goal there. Two minutes and eight seconds remaining. Snoo, the strong lead again. Damon really needing to find something out uh, about the way they want to play if they want to turn this around against Snoo. The aerial play is just so in favor of them, and that's what high-level Rocket League is. It, it set ups for your team, and it's having best the best control in the air you can and mario flies in from the side taps that one in from badger we didn't get a good look on it i definitely want to see this one again badger clears that one straight up and the follow-up is what's there mario has the turn they don't have the verticality it goes in right over meta robobun's head and a five nothing lead again for snoo looking unstoppable here in their second game of the night uh, maybe they're just maybe they just needed to warm up with that first one maybe that's why we're seeing a double header here no stopping them so far is why true might just get another one in aquatic though had it stopped on the ground mario really feeling hungry wants to go for a second a third in a row i believe actually but not able to do it no follow-up here aquatic will clear that ball out of the goal and snoo will return to the neutral they are dominantly in control of it badger knocks that away wins that little duel Excuse me, Aquatic won that duel with Badger actually sending it across. Manages to cross the whole map. Maybe it's there, but Badger doesn't even need to move for the defense. Gets right off the goalpost. Goes back to the corner. Damon College looking in an offensive position for the first time, I believe, and well, second time maybe in this game. Want to get that follow-up. Badger, great control. Doesn't knock it into the goal, but sets it up for Y True to get it back there. Mario maybe a little early, but could have a good tip in. It's bouncing. They can't get the save. Just narrowly missing it. Six to nothing for Snoo. They're uh, looking so, I mean, there's only so many ways I can say Snoo have been dominating this. 15 and nothing across the last two maps. SNH Rocket League is a, a force to be reckoned with so far. And the kickoffs have been pretty 50-50 this time, but this one is 100 to nothing with the way that they managed to play that one. And it could be the scoreline of Snoo keep playing like this as well. Mario, great tip up here, could get the chase as well, but Aquanic gets the clear. This put them in a set situation, though. Badger might just knock this one in. Does Meta jump for it? A little bit too late. Meta rolls right under it. Seven to nothing. Now for Snoo. Badger with a perfect little positioning here. It tipped it in. Just a small mistiming by Meta. Second earlier. Maybe would have been able to use the rotation of the car to knock it away, but everything has to be precise in Rocket League. Your enemies are going to capitalize on your mistakes. And they're going to be able to capitalize on neutral situations like this one. Mario doesn't have the boost to chase. I thought he might have. I may be feeling a little bit greedy with how this game's been going. Rolls around on the side, Mario, though. Close enough to the goal to set up off of somebody if they end up going for it. But Badger wants to reset this ball and push it away. Aquatic, though, is breaking away with it. Mario there for the save for now. No one really there. Both players on Damon miss. The communication is just not there. Could just roll right in, but Aquatic does have... The, the clear from the goal for now, Badger neutralizes it, kills all the momentum. We'll see if what Y-True can find with it. A demo on the player in goal. Mario, thank you for that free setup. He's going to do it slowly, though. Do they have the save? Corey's actually does. Gets that rotation over and set it up. Another potential goaling situation, but no one really close enough to do it. Mario wants to get that last point just to, to rub it in here, but ends up killing the ball and Snoo. Push it up to a quick two to nothing. Very strong gameplay from them so far, as you can tell. Another seven to nothing game. So if you're keeping track at home, and I hope that you are, because the scores are right in front of you, that's 16 to nothing so far for Snoo. Damon really have to figure something out. They have seven saves, but uh, compare that to the 19 shots that Snoo have been able to get on goal. Uh, you can you can tell where where some issues may be coming in here as we head into the third and what could be the final game if SNHU continue to play the way that they are. I thought they were actually going to be doing a roster swap, but doesn't look like it. Meta just resetting something there. 
they did manage to set up a few kickoffs, but not able to really do any set plays and goal. From what I can tell from the outside looking in, when you look at the way that they set themselves up or around each other, when they have players both going for the ball at the same time when there could be an open goal, th that seems like a communication breakdown on the side of Damon. They, I feel like they're not setting each other up for their own plays, but Corey's might not need a setup. We could see a goal from Damon, but Mario has a good save, keeps control of the ball. Actually, good, great juggles from him. Could be an open goal, but it gets off the goal post. Aquatic with one of the first shots Damon have had in quite a while here. But then another breakaway for Snoo. It's crossing the map here. Corey's and Aquatic actually play great to deny the momentum with the ball, but they can't stop it. They just set it up for Y True to come in and get another goal unanswered by Damon. I mean, that could have been a great defense, but Snoo just have perfect positioning here in the player in the goal, just not there early enough. Uh, that also, I think, goes to one person for the defense, then someone else does the angle instead of waiting in goal for a potential reshot from Snoo. That that is is case in point to what I've been mentioning so far about what could be going wrong here for Damon. Two players chasing the ball. Corey's knocks it away from the goal, kind of setting themselves up for Snoo. Badger just runs it right in. Three players all watch it happen in, in absolute horror, as, as you can see. They, they clear it out, and they're taking their time turning around. Absolutely no one is there. Corey's tried his best, but didn't even go off the ground. Knew that it was an inevitability, like, like Thanos practically heading into that goal. Two and nothing right now. Kickoff towards the orange side, so in control for Snoo, and they knock it over. Could be a potential score if someone's already in the left wall. It looks like Badger was ready for that, but Aquatic swoops around, uses that boost, saves it. Keeps the minute for now and gets a demo. So two versus three power play if they can make it work. But they missed the ball. The only shot that they really had. Meta staying grounded with 100 boost. Doesn't even want to go for it. And misses the ball on the follow-up there. So now Snoo get back in control. Who can they knock it over? A little bit of a juggle from Badger. Gets it neutralized. Goes straight up in that 50-50. They send it up again. Could be a setup for Y True. Maybe a little light on boost. But Aquatic should clear before he gets there. It goes right across Mario with the save. Keeping it on their side. They send it back over. Who is there for them? Look at this sideways movement by Mario finessing on them, juggling it into that goal, pushing Snoo even further ahead than we've already been seeing. Look at this. Just grinding on it on the side. Turn off the hydraulics on the, on the on this low rider, basically, at this point. Three to nothing here for Snoo. Again, kickoff. I can only say that the kickoff matters so many times, but there's just been so many goals that I basically had not much else to talk about. Aquatic. Solid aerial follow. Corey's not able to get the, the, the extension on that one as Badger takes it back to the orange side of the field. Corey's, though, again, good defensive player. Quick rotation gets in the way of it. But, but Snoo always have someone rotating around, collecting boost from their side of the field and coming back. That is a massive difference here. Corey's clears it back to the corner. They actually don't get the follow-up. Mario, though, gentle control with the ball. Badger goes for it, bounces off the crossbar. They have the follow-up from Y True and Corey's misses. That one's going in. No matter what you do at that point, no one ready on the side of Damon. Four to nothing. Now for SNHU with three minutes left. It's brutal. It's 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 just brutal here. We've now reached the point of 20 to nothing in advantage for Snoo. I, I, Damon have a, a, a long and arduous road ahead of them if they want to do this, and winning the kickoff would be have been a nice point of that, but it will go in favor of Snoo. Mario with another tap in Corey's. Again, good defensive player. He is going to be there in time. He has the angle of the ball correct. Why true though kicks it right in past him. If Corey's is there, it doesn't seem like anyone else is. They were so confident that they, they maybe had control back of the ball. They had two people on the wrong side of the field. See it bounce right in thanks to Y True. Meta made it back, but you can see Aquatic just a little bit late. 21 collectively to nothing now in favor of SNHU. Kickoff though, neutralized straight up, slightly in favor of Snoo. The aerial control is completely there for them. The crossbar though, denying Badger. One of the fastest goals I've seen in a game that's been basically full of fast goals anyway from start to finish, Badger. Some follow up. Aquatic does manage to clear it out, but it does just give it back to Y True and Mario with the setup. Great control here. That's the gentle kick that Badger will be able to utilize here, pushing it even further forward for them. Look at this little tap up. That's just fantastic play there, folks. Seeing that from Mario and Badger with that perfect cleanup on that setup for him. Two minutes and 28 seconds remaining in Damon. Really struggling to find something. A kickoff win is definitely something that they would hope for, but getting a 50-50 there on that and setting up for Y-True to immediately follow up on is not what you probably would have 
hope for if you were Damon. Seven seconds of actual sanctioned game time taken out in that one for them. A great angle by him. We are at 23. I, I have to keep saying it because I'm going to forget if I don't keep saying it. 23 now, I believe, to nothing. My math is correct. And I haven't taken a math class yet, so it might not be. Hold me to that if you can, chat. Horis does get the ball back in favor of Damon, but Mario clears it away. Badger with a chase, but actually saved by Meta, knocking it back. It looks like the old oh, perfect defensive play there by Corey's. All three members though were in the same spot. I was gonna say a Badger got a clear there. Badger sent it to the to the to the neutral, the center of the map, the, the the field. That one was basically over. But it is back to the middle, and they want to hunt for a goal, does Damon. At the very least, feel a little bit better if you can get a point on it. Badger wins that challenge. Hardcore against Corey as he was trying to fight for it. That's why Trey and Mario go to clear things out. It looks like Damon, they have three people swarming the side. They want to go for it. They do knock it, keep it in the blue corner, but why true? Still has that respect, still playing defensively. Mario tips it over for Badger. Such a good pass play from all three. They got their hands on the ball to get it from one side of the field to the other. SNHU, eight to nothing, 24 to nothing collectively across all of the maps, all of the rounds that they've played so far. But, I mean, solid play by them. Damon really just reeling from what they're seeing here from SNHU, though. A 50-50 start here. Mario, he's setting up for another high-quality gift that I'm going to read in the Rocket League channel. And it looks like I'm going to have to look at that one later. Mario pushes it to 9 to nothing, tying the score that they had in the first round. Going to 25 to nil. So far here. I do, I do like that little, uh, <laughs> that visual for scoring into the goal. I've had a lot of time to appreciate the, the effects that all the players on SNHU have equipped so far this game. Kickoff win for them, even if it is saved pretty quickly by Meta. Partially neutralized, a demo from SNHU gives them a chance for a power play. Get across the field fast enough, Badger. It's a good setup for them. Mario goes for it, but they both went for it at the same time. I have a feeling they're just having fun with it, maybe, at this point. We have another chance, though. Badger has the tip over. Both players collide into each other, but the ball just won't leave the goal. Aquatic finally gets the clear, maybe. He has the breakaway, but Mario sends it right back in. Does Badger have the setup? Does he have the angle? He tips it back over. Who's there for the set play? Corey's. Oh, gets, almost gives himself an own goal. But practically saved by Badger. This ball is so close, but no one can kick it in. Neutralized again over to that left orange corner. Mario hunting for it, but it breaks over back to their side. Why Trudeau positioned in a fantastic way. Does Badger have the angle to tip it over? Not quite yet. Why true? Rotating both defensive players crash into each other. Does Aquatic have the chance to goal here? No, the challenge does go in his favor, but it doesn't give him a clear shot on the goal. Badger will knock that away. Every member of Damon, it looks like, was hung. No, Corey's actually rolled back for it. Doesn't get the knock over on this ball, though. No one there to challenge, though. The members of DC are just crashing into each other here. And SNHU, I think, are just wanting to end this game 10 to nothing. 26 to nothing. And it looks like that might be how it is, unless they get another goal in the next five seconds, which I am not counting out for how they've been playing here so far. Mario sending it to Badger. Again, an open goal for them here. 10 to nothing. I don't think I've ever seen double digits on the top of the screen in a game of Rocket League before, but always, always, always time to see something new. Four seconds left. SNHU are chasing the ball. Now, as soon as that ball goes down, this game will be over, and they're not going to knock it up any further. SNHU, they win the best of five series in, in dominant fashion. I don't think there's any doubting that from anybody who is watching. How many shots on goal do they have collectively? 20. 20 shots on goals. Half of them came in and only four of them were denied by the members of Damon College. Snoo, just better. I, I, I think is the, is the way to put it for, for this round. Just a fantastic gameplay by them. They, they managed to maintain their undefeated record so far, push themselves to four and zero in their conference. Damon will now settle at a one and one. Same with the College of Satin Island that we played against earlier today. And I mean, you got to be feeling good about that, obviously, if you're Snoo. Anytime you could, anytime you could beat a team, you know, 26 to nothing or 27 to nothing, I've already lost count, is going to be a good day. Uh, good play, though, from both teams. Snoo were able to face against so far tonight. That whole double header obviously seemed to have just powered them up, warmed them up for these sets to come. Thank you guys all, of course, so much for tuning in to our SNHU esports broadcast. We do them basically every single weeknight, so and even if you want to stick around and watch the team keep playing against each other and watch Galax play, 
uh, you might want to tune in next time. Make sure you keep your eyes on our Twitter where we announce the games that we have. Make sure you follow us on Twitch if you want to just get a little notification instead of following us on Twitter. You can subscribe, of course, if you want to support us. And I've been Kresnik with Joe on production. We'll see you guys next time.